Now we've already talked about this a little bit. We talked about parallel lines. And just so that you guys can remember, these are coplanar lines. Coplanar lines that never intersect. Okay. And what you guys had already told me is that these guys have they have to have the same slope, but they must have different points. And the easiest way to do that, since we're talking about slope and y-intercept, is they need to have different y-intercepts. Right? Now when we talk about parallel lines, who else do we also talk about? I like to talk about perpendicular lines. And what do you know about perpendicular lines? They, they do what? All right, these are um, lines that intersect. To form a right angle, or to form right angles, I guess. Lines that intersect to form right angles. Mirror right angles are those guys that are nine degrees. But since we're in this whole discussion about slope and stuff, we remember this. Um, remember that there's slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. The slopes are negative reciprocals. Another way of looking at this is that the product of their slopes, what does product mean? Right. The product of their slopes, when you multiply their slopes, you get negative 1. So negative reciprocal, so the reciprocal of a fraction is just turning it upside down. The negative reciprocal, the negative reciprocal is turning it upside down and changing the sign. So if I were to tell you this, if I say that the slope of a line is 4 ninths, then that means that his parallel slope will to note with those two lower vertical bars, what's the parallel slope if your original slope is 4 ninths? It's supposed to be 4 ninths, right? All right. Well, then what would your perpendicular slope be? It's the negative reciprocal. So I said you have to flip it over and change the sign, right? Good old flipping switch. Right? Good old clown name. Although, with a clown name like flipping switch, that sounds like someone that's going to capture people and torture them. Like scratch his nails on the chalkboard and mess with him. That's what I would do. Oh, that sounds creepy, right? Don't worry, everything floats down here. It's cool. <laughs> what if I said the slope was negative 9? What would your parallel slope be? Negative 9. It's going to be the same thing, which is negative 9. However, what if I ask you for the perpendicular slope? 1 over 9. This guy's understood to be over 1. So if you flip that over, that's 1 over 9, and you change it from negative to a positive. So that's what your perpendicular slope would look like. 